You guys know I love stuff like this. Oh my goodness, look at all the, oh my goodness. Let me pause the camera here. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, I have a gift from Lisa. She is a subscriber viewer of my channel and she wanted to send me something. So I'm gonna unbox it. Um, it's a pretty big box, so I'm not sure if this is just gonna be an unboxing or if I'm gonna list everything or if I'm gonna list some of the stuff. It really just depends on how much is in here. So we are gonna get started and I'm gonna show you what is in this box. All right, it looks like we've got some plushies on top. Oh, who's this guy? Yoda? Is that his name? I'm not, I think Star Wars Yoda. Let's see. Oh, yep, Star Wars. Um, it is missing the tush tag there, but I think that's okay because we've got this information right here. Um, no year or anything like that. But yeah, he's cool. Look how big he is. He is definitely cool. All right. Oh, we have it. Is this Yoda also? No tush tag. Um, so I'm going to have to use Google Lens to figure it out. Just because there's not a tush tag does not mean it will not sell. Um, I just have to figure out who it is and then I will note that there is no tush tag. We have Curious George. Everybody loves Curious George, right? Universal Studios, it's got this number here. So I was gonna say, usually when there's a number, it's uh, gunned. So there you have it. You can put that number in your title. That'll help you list it. Got a little something on his face. Looks like it just needs a little spot clean. No big deal. Um, Angry Birds, I think. Star Wars Angry Birds. <laughs> it looks, I don't know. Uh, what's that girl's name on Star Wars? I'm so not good with these things. Angry Birds Star Wars. Ooh, I got it right. Um, this is from 2012 and she is a cutie patootie. Oh my goodness, look how cute she is. Wonder what, is it, does it do something? It's like got these little, hmm, anybody know? Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, this may, maybe we'll list the plush and then uh, I'll have to figure out, oh, this is a lot of parting out. Woo! You guys know I love stuff like this. Oh my goodness, look at all the, oh my goodness. Let me pause the camera here. All right, before we move on to that big bag, we have a bag of dinosaurs. So what I would do on this is um, I'm gonna put cake toppers dinosaurs and I don't know if I'll part them out or sell them all as one um, they can also be uh, counters is another thing that you can put in the title colors counters uh, people will buy them for educational purposes to teach their kids how to count okay so this looks like we have some sealed um, goodwill they were from good base so there's those uh, if those are all the same, I will lock those up and sell them together. All right, let's get this box out of the way. All right, I got him clean. All I did was put some water on my Norwex rag and I wiped his face. So, came right off. So we're gonna look this guy up. He does have a little bit of a, what do you call that when their shirt gets pe peeling or piling or I don't know what it's called, peeling. <laughs> Oh goodness, I'm always good for a laugh, right? Okay, you guys, so the Goodwill decided to put these stickers on it and they are impossible to get off. Um, I'm probably just gonna put these in like, I make sometimes toy boxes. So um, these are 2022. Uh, I'm just gonna throw them in a toy box. So for now, I'm gonna sit them to the side until I make up a toy box. Right. Let's dig into this. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a bit overwhelming, right? Um, naked Barbies. Uh, do I buy them? Not typically, uh, because they are hard to sell. Now, if they are vintage, like the really old ones, yeah, I will. I will more than likely lot most of these up and just sell them to somebody who wants to, like, clean up their hair and... Um, fancy them up. I, I don't want to clean up Barbie hair. Um, that's one thing you guys have heard me talk about before. I will not, 
I will not do it. I don't have time to, uh, to do it. This one, she's got her outfit on it. Looks like she might be like a vet or something. This guy, so these are all newer Barbies. This one's 2012, not newer, newer, but um, newer. They're not old, they're not vintage. Some of them might be from the 90s, but still not the, the ones from the 60s. Barbie, oh, her shirt's cute, 1959. This is um, a Barbie, but she is in a, I think that's a Disney princess um, outfit. And yeah, she's not a Disney princess. I, I could be wrong, but is that Rapunzel's outfit? And this one is actually um, Ariel in Snow White's outfit. So a lot of work here, but for the person that likes to part out um, Barbies, this says 2009. So that is a Barbie, um, I don't know, what would you call that? Like top? I might try to look that up. 2017. Oh my goodness, there's so many here. I have uh, lauded this type of thing up on um, Barbies on, what's it called, Mercari, and done pretty well. Okay, I don't know him. Is that, no wait, is that, um, I recognize that smile. Who is that? He's a Disney character. I don't know if he has on the right outfit. I don't know if his hair's been cut. I think he should be, he should say, and he doesn't. Oh, well, that's odd. I thought, usually they say Disney on the neck, but he does not, so I don't see any markings on him. That's interesting. I'll have to try to look him up. Barbie with um, a jacket. This guy has a lot of damage, so I'm probably just going to throw him away. He's been chewed up. Maybe pop his head off. No, his head's dirty too. Okay, this one looks like she might light up or do something. Maybe. She might be broke. Um, I will look her up just to see if she's something special. Another, I think this one might be a Disney... Yeah, Disney 2005, but I don't know who she is. So I'll probably lot them and call it like Disney Barbie lot. This is also a Mattel 2013. Um, she looks like she might do something too, but again, the hair, I just don't have time to play with the hair. I don't know. Let's see. How do I... Is her microphone broke? Might be broke. Another naked Barbie. <laughs> naked Barbie, naked Barbie. And you can tell they've got the jointed legs, so they are definitely uh, newer. Not saying if somebody buys these and fixes their hair and puts clothes on them. I mean, they could definitely part them out. But, oh, look, he's got real hair. He is 2009. I don't know who he is. Is he someone? Sometimes they are, uh, they mimic people. Um, is this a Bratz? Huh. 2013. He's, I'm going to look him up. It looks like his hair has been cut off though. I don't know who that is. This, I believe, is another Disney princess. Yes. I don't know which one. So one time I found a Disney princess and it was worth, it was a rare, it was um, a harder to find princess and I sold it for huge money. It's in one of my older videos. So 
I will check her just to be safe and make sure she's not super special, but I don't, she doesn't look familiar to me. So if she is not special, she'll just go in uh, this bundle of uh, dolls here. So this one looks different too. She's got a bigger head. Who is she? Who are you? Um, made in China. I think maybe she's just a, a knockoff. I don't know. I'll try Google Lens on her. We have this little mermaid plush. No tag, so I'll have to Google Lens that as well. All right, guys, we're getting there. Um, this is a Mattel 2020. So honestly, what I'll probably do is pop this piece off, pop these two pieces off, and possibly sell those as replacements. Not sure yet. So it's just a little wood dollhouse thing. Oh my goodness, look at all these goodies. Get off there. <laughs> Get off there, I say. Okay, a little horse with a saddle. Huh. I don't see any. Oh, there we go. May, let's see. Is it Kid Core? Yeah, Kid Core 1990. So I will probably list that just because um, it's vintage. Check that out. Look up comps. It'll probably be a bread and butter. But that's okay. You know I love bread and butter. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. You know I'm going to Google Lens that just because it looks cool. No markings, but it's a rattle. This goes to, I think, one of those learning books. Um, so I'll look it up. Is that a Barbie folder? <gasps> okay. Oh, cute. Those look like Barbie. I don't know for sure if they are or not. Some, they could be, that says Hong Kong. These could be really good if they are actually Hong Kong vintage Barbie. So I will check those out. I like that it has a little case. It's kind of cool. don't know. Everybody likes to try to get me with these uh, replacement parts and sometimes I cannot find them. There's a Barbie balloon. That one actually has a Barbie on it. Don't know. Um... These are all probably Barbie replacement parts. Loves Baby Soft Cologne Spray. Huh. Fruit Pops, Shopkins. That's cute, never seen that before. Mm, what is this? What is, huh. I don't know. It's probably like a puzzle piece. Ooh, it's got something inside. Oh, this says Hong Kong also. I like the ones that say Hong Kong. It's got a rock in it. Put that one to the side. Bitty Baby Ointment. Okay, so I always pick up Bitty Baby stuff. This does have a little bit of damage, but it may still sell. What on earth is that thing? <laughs> You guys, oh my gosh, I love it. It says on the side here, Mattel 2000. What? Is it a cat? Oh my gosh, I gotta look that up. That's gotta be worth a million dollars. It's so funny. Uh, this is Barbie also. So probably gonna do like a Barbie replacements box. Um, so funny. Um, a saddle. I tell you guys that I do pick up saddles. I like to sell those because people that customize horses, they will, uh, sell those saddles. All right. So this one is, what does it say? Kids Centives, $19.99. I believe this one is a Mar uh, Barbie little puppy dog. Uh, 
doll goggles. Do you think those fit like an 18 inch doll? Uh, I feel like this is, it goes with something. It's like their pet. Here's another one. I should be able to Google lens these. I think I've parted those out before. This is a little wood thing. Whoa. Are those dog bones? <laughs> oh boy. Another Barbie balloon. So this type of stuff, I don't really buy. This type of stuff, I buy. And I part it out. What is in here? Oh, what is this? What is, what, what, what's happening? It's a mermaid surfboard. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, she's, that's cute. But she's kind of a hot mess back here. I don't know what's going on there. Huh, never seen that. More of these little guys. Headless. It's headless. Uh, yuck. I'm guessing she probably bought this and it was all bundled together. Oh, that's cute. American Girl 2017, a little tissue holder. Uh, a peanut. It's one of those squishy things. That'll go in the doll lot. This is a... Playmobil. I think it's vintage. Put that to the side. All of these little ladies are going to go into a toy lot. Whoa, what's wrong with her mouth? <laughs> um, this... I don't know who she is. Put her to the side. We've got some more puppy dogs. I do believe these are Mattel Barbie dogs. Just sold a couple of those, actually. Um, I might make like a little lot of the, the smalls. There's a Barbie helmet. Sorry, I didn't show you guys. Briars. Ice cream. Huh. Ice. Is that ice? That one's all chewed up. This one says TMPW. I don't know. Google Lens might find that one. Here's another little Barbie bag. <gasps> Who wants a turkey? Turkey. So I may just put like a lot of these toys and a lot um, and say Barbie, Barbie and Barbie size. Do we have the other flipper? Matching boot. A little cash register. Okay, that bag is done. So again, I will cherry pick it and then make a mixed lot of the other items. All right, what do we have here? We have another saddle. Oh, it's like a side saddle. So I give it that goes to a Barbie. And she can sit on the horse sideways, but I don't see any markings. can try Google Lens, or I can just put in pink side saddle, and that might pull it up. I wonder if that goes with this chair. I don't think so. It doesn't really match. Oh, I just noticed his foot. It's, it's gone. So these went to some sort of Barbie something. 
don't typically mess with some of that stuff. I will look it up just to make sure. Um, this is something I would probably do. JC Toys if it was like Fisher Price or something, but I'm going to look this up because it could be something that somebody has that toy and they're looking for it. This is City Toy. It's a hippo. Chelsea. Don't know that brand. I'll have to look it up. Made in China bathtub. I don't know brand. I'm not sure on that one either. And I might do a five pound box on a Poshmark of the Barbies. I don't know, I haven't decided. They're definitely a uh, TLC, it'll be a TLC box. ABS, don't know what that is. Okay, these are bumper cars, so I can check those out and sell those together if I decide to go that route. Oh. Maybe that goes with it too. So this goes with it. Must be some type of doll maybe. This is cute. I don't know what this is either. Google Lens might find that. Huh. I wonder what that slot's for. I think this is Bitty Baby also. American Girl Bitty Baby. Yep. So I can put that with the ointment. I always pick bitty baby up. All right, here we go. Let's get this bag open. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> I feel like I should, uh, maybe do this part separate, but it's all one box, right? That looks like an actual baby bib. It's got a little bit of staining on it, so I'm just going to throw that one away. Um, basically when you're looking at Barbie clothes, you're looking for vintage items. Um, a black tag label on the inside. Don't see any tag on this. I'm guessing these are mostly going to be from the nineties. I am not familiar with Barbie clothes at all. I don't do enough of it to really recognize it. Um, I will probably sell these in a big lot if I'm being completely honest. But there's definitely plenty of clothes here to uh, dress those dolls. Some t that looks like, um, is it Moana? Put that one to the side. I might be able to sell it as a replacement. And the reason, I, I just don't have time to uh, research every single piece. Um, I know there's collectors and people that specifically sell Barbie clothes that are probably going to scoop this up. I don't know if I'll do an auction or, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Definitely look through it and show you guys here. That one might be handmade for some shoes. That's just a ribbon, get that out of there. And some of the clothes from the 90s, I mean, if you know the item number and what they go to, I mean, there's, you can definitely part them out. Like right here. I felt this. I saw it. And I kind of had a feeling it was pretty good. Um, it was vintage. I, just after doing it so long, you start to, to know. I'm sure I'll miss a bunch of stuff too. But this is 1967 Twiggy. So I will definitely um, part that piece out. It does have some damage. It's not in great condition. But it uh, definitely could uh, sell. So I will pull that one. This is dirty, so I'm going to pull that out. Um, also, anything with Velcro hook and loop is not going to be as old. If you don't know, don't use the word Velcro on eBay. You will get your account in trouble. Use the word hook and loop. I don't know if that's some sort of like sleeping bag. Um, Brandy over at My Reseller Treasure specializes in Barbie items. 
and she can probably look at these and tell you what most of them go to. She is incredible. If you have not subscribed to her channel, definitely go and give her a follow. And we're just going to go through these. That one looks older, but again, it's got the Velcro. So you're looking for like the little snaps. Um, I think the snap might be missing on this one. Oh, yep, it's missing. See, that's a newer tag. Made in Hong Kong. I don't know what that one is. That one could be vintage. I'll see if I can look it up. So if somebody takes the time to figure out what piece this goes with, you could definitely part it out. But the newer stuff is probably going to become more valuable as it becomes more vintage. This is a baby alive diaper. And if I miss something, you guys can scream at the video in the comments because it will probably be sold by the time I post this. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Depends if I get it listed. It's kind of a cool little jacket. There's definitely some cool pieces. And you know, things like this are just great for somebody who has a kid that has a bunch of Barbies. Pretty, pretty little outfit. That feels older. There we go. I don't think it's super, super old. This is not the black tag I'm talking about, but it's definitely a vintage older piece. I'll see if I can find what it goes to. These are just like doll it's a doll outfit I'm gonna pull that out because it's definitely not Barbie size all right let's these have older snaps but this looks to be a handmade deal um, it does have some staining so I'm gonna pull that out and I don't think it's Barbie size this is definitely not Barbie size I'm guessing uh, she did not even look through this stuff. She just sent it to me as she got it. And we have a, a dirty sock. <laughs> you never would know what you're going to find, right? Um, one time I was going through something and I found a dead mouse. So I threw that away along with... I threw the bag away. All right, what's this? Here's Vintage Barbie, guys. This is the black tag I'm talking about right here. I think, nope, wait, nope, that's more of a newer one, I think. This is kind of like that other one. It is definitely vintage, but I don't think that's the black tag. See, you guys, I'm just not schooled really great in this stuff. Um, I'll put it to the side because it is um, toot, toot, I don't know what that goes to, a toot doll. So what I will do is I will list this as conditions vary, TLC, Barbie, lot. Um... I do believe that some of them are from the 90s, but I don't know if I'll put vintage to now or just let the person figure it out. What on earth is happening here? Hold on. All right, I don't know what this is. Is it some sort of like diaper? I'm not certain. Put that to the side because it is not Barbie size. This is not Barbie size. Birthday party sleepover must-haves. That's justice. I think that's the justice symbol, right? Justice? 
Does this go to a doll? Or is this for a kid? I have no idea. Let's see. It says, doesn't say. You guys, that's too small for a kid, right? I'm guessing that goes to like an 18 inch doll. American Girl. I will list that separately, the little kitty cat on it. Doesn't look Barbie size. It's too big. Um, oh, here we go. Baby Alive. Little Baby Alive skirt. Here's another shoe. This one right here. I want to look at this a little better. see a tag. It does look older though. That yellow pants may be handmade. This one is Baby Alive. I wonder if that goes with that little tutu. Um, wake me up at noon. <laughs> wake me up at noon. Oh goodness. I don't know if that's 18 inch doll or it looks kind of big to be an 18 inch doll. Let's see if we can find a tag. Doll gown, one size, children's sleepwear. Maybe it's one of those where like you match it with a kid's outfit. You know what I'm talking about? Here it is, doll gown, children's sleepwear, one size. I wish it had a brand. That'd make it a lot easier for me to look up. This one I can, oh, it says Kohl's. I'll have to see if I can find that with a Google Lens to see if it, what size doll it fits. If not, I'll just throw it in a lot. Disney. I don't know what's what that fits. All right. I think I've pulled out really old stuff so we'll just uh lot the rest of this and get it listed all right you guys thanks so much for watching and i'm gonna work on this